Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. We're in the first weekend of the last quarter of 2020. What a mighty God we serve. God has been good. We ought to give him praise. Yes, we may not be at the best position. We may not be feeling the best. We may not be at our best health or even financially. But God is still good. And where there is life, there is hope. And so this morning and the rest of this weekend, I want us to spend time praising, blessing, honoring God for his goodness towards us in the land of the living. We're going to continue our devotion in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 35 through 38. We'll also read 46 through 49. And we will see what humility does in the presence of God and how God will use and exalt one who selects to be humble rather than to be proud. Verse 35, And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born to thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, whom was called barren. For with God nothing is impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaiden of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. One of the ways to be pride and to flush it out is to commune with God, have conversations with God and the Holy Spirit. That's what Mary did. She consulted the presence of God. And when she got the answer from God, her heart Praise God. Mary saw Luke 1 46. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in the God, my salvation. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now all generations shall call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Yes, the word of God to the people of God. Yes, Mary was in prayer. She was humble. She acknowledged immediately who has done this to her, and God sorely exalted her. Father, thank you. Thank you for Mary. Thank you for the servant of God. Thank you for her standing, not in pride, but in humility. And as a result, you've done great for her, whereof we are glad. And today we have this great example, and we give you thanks. We also pray for those who lead the nations, including our prime minister, all of parliament and their families, we pray a blessing even now. We bless those in the medical professions, those who lead in the front line of this fight against COVID-19. We pray strengthen them even now. May they recover from whatever issues they're experiencing in the name of Jesus. And they be strong in you and in your power. Bless our medical professionals. We pray for the body of Christ, that we will continue to be the voice of God in the land. We will continue to be prayer warriors and indeed intercessors. We will continue to show love one to another as we fight this fight in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. We give you praise today as we look to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's continue to fight. Let's continue to be humble. And God will exalt us in due season. Have a great day in the Lord.